welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, it is so nice to meet you and thank you for stopping in. In today's video, I am going to be decorating my hot chocolate slash coffee bar station for Christmas 2022. We're going to have so much fun. So let's jump into the video. overview of all the items that I have gathered to create this hot chocolate slash coffee bar and I have my snacks here I found these gourmet marshmallows from Big Lots and they are shaped like little stars and they were $2.99 of course I've got my jet puffs my icy gingerbread cookies. I've got a few candy canes. And also, I have my decor pieces here. I have a wreath. I have this little sign here. And I also have these delicious little Debbie um, Christmas tree cakes. We've already opened those. I have this jar back here as well. I might not use everything up here, and then there's some other pieces that I'm going to add. And also, I have my syrups, which is going to be a new addition to my bar this year. I've never used syrups before. So, let's get started. This is the area that I'm going to be creating my hot chocolate slash coffee bar this year. Same area that I always use. And I have my foundational pieces here. I have my two-tiered tray. And also, this right here is a new item that I've added. So I could add back in my two-tiered tray. And this tray is wonderful. Let me pull it down. It's a new purchase. I probably purchased it about three weeks ago from my local Ross store. And it is... It has these gold handles on it so I can lift it up this way. And it's a beautiful piece. It looks like quartz. It's really heavy. So that's one of my foundational pieces. So I'm going to push that back in. Of course, I have my Keurig. And over here, I have my syrup bottles here. This is a new addition to my bar. And I can't wait to put my syrups in it. So let's get to decorating. So we're going to start by filling these wonderful jars here. And I have two sets of these. So I have chosen to use the ones with the snowflake embossments on them, as you can see here. And we we're just going to go ahead and add in my gingerbread, my marshmallows, and whatever else that I seek to put in here. Okay. So I'm going to add these gourmet marshmallows. Don't they look good? Look at the shapes. I thought these was a great price in comparison to the same marshmallows that Target offers. So let's get these in this jar. <music> is to use two different types of marshmallows. So these are actually called Mushmallow, and they're vanilla. And these are my little jet puffs. And so I have two types of marshmallows, and then of course my gingerbread. So we're gonna go ahead and install those on that tray in the back. So we're gonna take these smaller jars here and which are similar to the large ones that we had. And I'm going to put some M&Ms and um, some brown sugar in, in these two here. So now I am going to go ahead and fill my syrup bottles here. And I don't have a tag or anything to put up here. So until I get figure out what I'm going how I'm going to label these, 
I'm just going to simply, I simply just took a marker and put CP for caramel pecan so I'll know what each bottle contains. And when I get my little signs, I will attach my signs. So these are the syrups that we're going to be using. We're using skinny syrups. So I'll have CP in under one bottle. Then I have VCC for vanilla caramel cream. So you get where I'm going with it. And I'll label those temporarily until I can come up with a um, resolution for um, all of that. So this is what each bottle looks like out of that box. And I'm going to go ahead and start with this one first. And we're going to do each bottle and put it into here. Because I think these look better than just putting these bottles up here. And I'm going to go ahead and get that done. So now we filled all of these bottles and I have all my syrups in there. So we're going to continue decorating this bar. So now we're going to add our cookies. Aren't they so cute? We have a little boy. And we have a little girl, and they both live in this house. How cute. We're also going to go ahead and add my Christmas tree cakes. And I'm going to add them on the tear tray over here as well. So let me go ahead and do that now. going to add these sprinkles. I'm just going to put these in a bag because they're not in a very attractive case and I'm just going to add them and insert them right on the tear tray behind the M&Ms. So I always add a theme mug to my Keurig and this is the one that I've chosen this year. So I'm going to go ahead and insert him on my Keurig tray. I forgot to add my sign to this bar, so here I'm just showing you where I'm going to place the sign. So now we've got our sign up, and it says hot chocolate bar. Even though we fix coffee up here, we're going to be doing teas and apple cider up here. But the sign that I really wanted to use, I couldn't use it because this wonderful crystal wax warmer was in the way so i had to end up using that one so let's continue to add some decorative pieces onto this bar we've got to bring this bar to life it's not quite there yet so i decided to make a quick change i'm going to switch out my little gingerbread guy and i'm going to go with this mug instead because his little blue scarf i think was throwing me off a little bit so i'm gonna just go ahead and reinsert this adorable mug over here and I think that would make a better fit now this area of my bar station here is looking kind of boring <laughs> the syrup color is not really giving me what I need so I'm going to take this Santa Claus head glass vase and I'm just going to add some candy canes in it to kind of give it some festivityness, if that's a word make it a little bit more festive so now we're going to add a wreath to my bar to bring some more life and visual interest so i decided to put the wreath over here instead of putting it over my syrups so i'm going to try to put something else on this side i am i'm going to use this metal wreath here and i'm going to put this on top of my syrups here so let's put that in place. Oh, I like that. So I grabbed this red sleigh. And this is a new purchase that I purchased from Target this year for $5. It came in the red and the natural look. And I'm going to add this over in front of my syrups because I still think it needs a little bit more. So we're going to insert that and decorate it out for Christmas. So now I've added the sleigh on the side with my syrups and my candy canes. And we're going to fill this with some Christmas trees. 
we're gonna give it a shot anyway so I have these bottle brush trees I don't I have a lot of these so I really don't know where I got them from and I'm gonna add each of these into the red sleigh <laughs> So now I am going to add these bottle brush trees and I purchased these this year from the Dollar Tree and these were $1.25 and I didn't know that they lit up and because I was just, I don't know, but anyway, they do and this is what they look like. And they change color. How cute. So we're gonna add these to the bar as well. New find alert. I just found this adorable salt and pepper shaker from my local Burlington store last night. Hey, and we're definitely gonna add both of these to our bar. So these are the salt and pepper shakers. This is what they look like up close and personal without the package. Look at the little heart on the back. Isn't that cute? Heart on the front and heart on the back. And of course, this little gingy here. Let's add them to the bar. Okay, so I'm gonna put one right here and I'm gonna put the other one right there. How cute. Now this is actually an ornament. I had bought these to put on my gingerbread thing Christmas tree, but because of the ribbon I used, this didn't work well. So I'm just gonna add her into my red sleigh. Okay, now these jars are still messing with me. So what I'm thinking is, I'm gonna add some of this craft ribbon here to give them some little spice, okay? So let's let's see what we do. Now this is much better. I like the accents of the bows on each of the jars and it's not going to obstruct me if I want to put some pumps of this syrup into our coffees and hot chocolates. I love it. And just one more thing. I'm gonna take another one of these glass Santa heads and I am gonna add some of these little gingerbread bamboo skewers. And I'm just gonna put them in here because we can use them. So if we're gonna get our marshmallows out, we can reach in there with the skewer. my video today and I hope that you enjoyed all the ideas that I shared in this video. If you did, please give this video a big thumbs up and if you would like to become a part of the Felicia by the Season family, just click that subscribe button and welcome new friend to this family. Until the next video, happy decorating. Bye guys!